First at 10, an American hero is finally home 70 years after going missing in action. Today, hundreds were there as Army Corporal Asa Vance returned home for the final time. This was my family's dream. You know, what's, what's it mean to have a dream realized? Good evening, I'm Don Sterling. And I'm Sean Streety. Corporal Asa Vance disappeared just one week into his deployment in the Korean War. His remains were identified just two years ago. And after decades of waiting, his family will get to say one final goodbye. WAD's Chris Carter was there as Corporal Vance returned home for one final time. It's new at 10. Closure comes in different forms for different people. It's the biggest day. At different times. That it's just about the biggest day that I can think of. For the family of U.S. Army Corporal Asa Emmett Vance, nicknamed Bud, closure couldn't come any sooner. 70 years. 70 years. That's a long, long time to wait for somebody to come home. 70 years after going missing in the Korean War, Corporal Vance is home. The streets of Illinois lined with strangers to pay their respects for a soldier they didn't know. Escorted from St. Louis, the family of an American hero will finally get to say their final goodbyes, something they never thought would happen. It's been a long journey. It's hard to believe this day has come. Debbie Stanty didn't know her uncle. He was just 18 when he deployed in 1950. Her mother kept Corporal Vance's memory alive with stories. It's hard to think that's possible when it's someone that you didn't really know personally, but because of mom, we knew it. Corporal Vance's sacrifice to his country is remembered at the courts of the missing at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Honolulu. The spot marking his name will soon carry a marker indicating his recovery and return to those who loved him. This was my family's dream. You know, what's what's it mean to have a dream realized? A dream now being realized, bringing closure to the family of an American hero. Now, Corporal Vance's remains were one of just 55 returned to America from North Korea following a deal brokered by former President Donald Trump. Sean, the return comes 62 years after the Army classified his remains as unrecoverable. Wow, amazing. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Funeral services for Corporal Vance are Friday. He'll be buried at Camp Butler Cemetery in Springfield.